Maintenance. So one of the big issues that we always have is dad stopping to pay maintenance because they do not have contact with their children because they're being denied contact. Just because mommy is not allowing you to see the children does not mean that you are not obliged to pay maintenance. I want to be very clear with you. If you have been paying maintenance, either with or without a maintenance and or court order or a settlement in the divorce decree, and you come to me and you say to me, I'm not paying maintenance because mommy won't let me see the children. We will not help you. Two wrongs a right doth not make. Okay. Is it wrong what mommy is doing? 150 gazillion percent you are right. We agree with you. Mommy is does not have the authority to deny you contact in the absence of inappropriate behavior. If she is frustrating the contact with you, you come to us to assist you with the contact. The courts will not look favorably on you, and I can guarantee you this. They will not look favorably on you, no matter how bad the circumstances are, if you're not paying maintenance. The other thing that you've also got to take into consideration, how can we charge you for our services when you're not paying maintenance towards your children? Rather take that money and pay the maintenance to your children. You guys have got to keep your slate clean. If you have lost your job, you've become unemployed, you were injured, um, or you've had to take a reduction in payment, etc., 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 and you are being frustrated by the courts and they're not accepting your reduction or non-payment of maintenance because there is a material change in your circumstances of being able to get finances, then you come to us. We will assist you with that. But just because mommy is illegally withholding the children from you doesn't mean that you can stop paying maintenance. Mommy withholding contact from you has nothing to do with the maintenance of your children. It's about the upkeep of your children. If mommy is taking the maintenance that you're paying towards your children and not employing that money towards the upkeep and maintenance of your children, you come to us and we will assist you with having a proper maintenance program put in place for you so that your children can be taken care of. But just because mommy is denying you contact doesn't mean that you stop paying maintenance. Is it wrong what mommy is doing? 150 gazillion billion trillion percent. We agree with you. Don't do it. We can't help you. Because that money needs to go towards the maintenance of your children. Sort that out first. Then you pick up the phone and you say, Gary, I've sorted out the maintenance. It's up to speed. It's on time. It's, on, it's up to date. Please, can you assist me around contact? And then it's, let's start the engines. All right. Denial of contact is something that we are desperately trying to change from a legal point of view. It has to be automatic and mandated in the absence of inappropriate behavior. I'm sorry I can't use the correct words, guys. Anyway, you get what I mean by inappropriate behavior, unacceptable social behavior. You should have contact on a 50-50 basis. Contact, care, guardianship and maintenance from birth. You had the child together, you raise the child together. There is not a superior parent. There's not a superior parent whose rights and responsibilities exceed those of the law and the constitution of South Africa. We are all equal before the law and the constitution of South Africa, so we should all have equal contact, care, guardianship and maintenance. This nonsense of that there is a superior parent needs to come to an abrupt and immediate end. So, 
if you guys have stopped paying your maintenance, sort it out. Bring it up to date. If, if, you, are, if, you, have, if you have wrongly stopped maintenance, and you've been putting that, you should have been putting that money anyway into a fund because you are going to have to pay it. So you are going to have to put it in a separate bank account. If you haven't been doing that, you need to start paying current maintenance and then you need to be adding on 500 or a thousand bucks or 50% or 75% so that you're at least bringing up the shortfall between the time that you stopped and when you commence. But please do not be, please do not think that because mommy is denying you contact, you have the right to stop paying maintenance. It's about the upkeep of your child. What is more important? It's important that your child is maintained and looked after and cared for. Contact does not equal maintenance and maintenance does not equal contact. Just because you don't have a job and are unable to pay maintenance does not mean mommy has the right to deny you contact with your child. Okay. And vice versa. If you are needing assistance, please reach out to us. We do charge for our services at significantly reduced rates because we are not funded by the greater or broader uh, uh, public. We do need support so that we can help those fathers that genuinely do not have uh, finances so that we can assist them as well. Please like, share and subscribe. Please get the message out there. Our contact details are in the message below. I love you all. Have a great day.